Well, we'll just figure out, do a little warm up. Ski mountaineer Kit Delorier is near Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park. And here, she's practicing some of the skills she used while scaling the world's toughest mountains. In 2006, Kit became the first person in history to climb and ski the Seven Summits, the highest mountain peaks on every continent. Yahoo! I got the idea to climb and ski the Seven Summits when I was competing on the World Free Skiing Tour. But setting this lofty goal was only the beginning. On any climb, Kit needs to make sure she's prepared both physically and mentally. So before taking her first step on a mountain, Kit trains and plans well in advance, studying maps and images to visualize her route. I rely on mental maps in the mountains a lot. I study maps, I study photos, I'm really into the, that visual thing. And then when I'm up there, it's like, okay, this next and this next. And so, you know, not unlike climbing on this wall right here. Using topographic maps, which highlight the natural features or topography of a landscape, Kit relies on knowledge of the terrain when navigating through the mountains. And for more complex landscapes, she uses advanced navigation tools like GPS. The main physical characteristics of the big mountains that I've climbed are that they're the highest place in each of their topographical regions. So they're sparsely populated because usually they're really high altitude and there's uh, not much water and it's not conducive to humans living there. Human beings are not naturally adapted to survive at such extreme elevations so proper preparation can be the difference between life and death. The main thing that makes Everest so difficult to climb is because it is so high. At 29,000 feet, it is 16,000 feet higher than even the Grand Teton that we're looking at here. And at that altitude, it's very difficult for the body to acclimatize. You can get sick, you can get mentally fatigued. And then topographically, it's still not an easy mountain to climb. The rugged mountain terrains present unique challenges that require different solutions. With every climb, Kit relies on specialized tools to help her traverse the harsh physical environments. Climbing Everest, I put on crampons about 10 minutes outside of base camp for everything that I climbed above 17,000 feet. So that means 12,000 vertical feet I was climbing in crampons. We definitely also need ice axes. These are just your basic snow travel, snow and ice travel tools. Crampons and ice axes help climbers to grip icy surfaces, allowing them to scale near vertical slopes. And once you reach such high elevations, the body needs additional support to even function like oxygen masks. On Everest, we also used oxygen. This was born over <laughs> an awful lot of clothing. And you've got goggles and everything too, so it's really cumbersome. Humans have learned to adapt to all sorts of environments. And after years of record-breaking climbs, Kit now hopes to be an example that you can always push yourself to aim higher. We're all capable of so much, so much more than we think sometimes. Yeah.